In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 27, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Washington Nationals The Pittsburgh Pirates and Washington Nationals will open up a three-game series on Monday night in the nation's capital. Pittsburgh suffered a three-game sweep at the hands of the Tampa Bay Rays, including a 4-2 loss in Sunday's finale as a huge plus 216 underdog to fall to 29-43 on the season. Washington enters at 27-48 after taking two of three from the Texas Rangers capped off by a 6-4 victory in Sunday's rubber game as a plus-153 underdog. These teams met for a four-game series in Pittsburgh back in the first week of the season, with the Pirates taking 3-4. of four. The Pittsburgh Pirates are 1-4 in their last five games and are 1-10 in their last 11 games on the road. The Pittsburgh Pirates are 2-8 in their last 10 games when playing on the road against Washington. Washington is 8-2 straight up in their last 10 games when playing at home against Pittsburgh. Fed had a couple of spotty starts earlier this month posting six earned on 11 hits and six walks in a combined 11 innings. Fed was able to bounce back in his last outing, though. He logged six shutout frames versus Baltimore with two hits and a walk. Neither starting pitcher has done very well this season, but there still is a big gap between the two's performance thus far. Bryce Wilson is 0-2 with a 6.86 road ER in five games, while Eric Fed is 2-3 with 5.03 ER in seven home starts thus far. Batting average of balls in play is a good statistic to see if the lineup is hitting it where they eight and Washington is eighth in baseball with a point two hundred ninety eight via BIP while Pittsburgh is twenty six with a point two hundred seventy two via BIP this season. So the Washington Nationals money line is our full game side pick. Even if Fed is solid again, the Nationals' bullpen is a mess, ranking sixth worst by ERA while currently dealing with a ton of injuries. Pittsburgh is currently a little better at the plate than the numbers indicate, as recent call-ups like Juan Cruz and Blig Madras make the lineup much better. In addition to Reynolds regaining his all-star form over the last month, Pirates closer David Bednar is currently struggling with three straight blown saves after looking utterly dominant most of the year. And there's not much else positive happening in a Pittsburgh bullpen that has the 10th worst ERA. If your team struggles to get outs, runs should score easily. Even though the offensive numbers aren't great, neither are the bullpens for either team. The Nationals are 26th in the sport with a 4.5 reliever ERA while the Pirates are 22nd with a 4.28 bullpen ERA so far. Even when looking at the pitching staffs as a whole, Washington has a combined 1.4 WHIP this year while Pittsburgh is sitting at a 1.34 WHIP as a pitching staff. Both pitching staffs are among the worst in the league, so the offenses will be able to get to the number here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Oakland Athletics vs. New York Yankees The Oakland A's face the New York Yankees with both teams on opposite ends of the standings this season. The A's have a 25-49 record and are in last place in the American League West Division while the Yankees have a 53-20 record and are in first place in the American League and the entire MLB. For the upcoming game, the A's will turn to Paul Blackburn as their starting pitcher while the Yankees will turn to Jordan Montgomery to start the game. The Athletics are 3-8 in their last 11 road games and 15-40 in their last 55 overall. The Yankees are 37 to 14 in their last 51 home games and 46 to 14 in their last 60 overall. The under is 4 to 1 to 1 in Athletics last 6 Monday games. The under is 3 to 1 to 1 in Yankees last 5 home games. The Athletics are 1 to 4 in the last 5 meetings in New York. This matchup is quite literally the most dramatic difference in terms of calibers of teams. The Yankees have the best record in all of baseball with more than double the wins than that of the Athletics, who have the worst record. The talent gap is substantial across the board, and none more so than the offensive department. The Bronx Bombers have given a whole new meaning to the nickname. For any fans who believe they will not live up to it due to a slower series against the Astros over the weekend, 
they'll likely have another thing coming. Houston has the league's best pitching staff outside of the Yankees, and facing Oakland will be quite the opposite. The A's will be giving New York their best chance with Paul Blackburn on the mound, but Oakland has even lost four of his last five starts. They simply cannot produce enough runs to support the decent pitching they do have. There's no reason to expect them to perform any better against the Yankees. Not only do they have the best pitching staff overall, they also have the league's lowest home ERA. That's a rough combination for a lineup that is last in the league in terms of Team OPS. Even when they do get quality starts from guys like Blackburn or Frankie Montes, their bullpen is one of the worst in baseball as well. All of these negatives for the A's make it clear to see why they have the worst record in the MLB. Yankee starter Jordan Montgomery, a lefty, just shut down one of the best left-handed hitting lineups in the Blue Jays recently and should have no issues with the A's. Paul Blackburn has been good this season, but he's getting tagged this month, allowing 29 hits and 12 runs in his last 21.1 innings. That's not what you want to see when going up against a hot and confident Yankees lineup. Jordan Montgomery has been consistent all year, and that includes 22 hits and 8 runs allowed in his last 25.1 innings. The A's are looking to pull off the upset to start the road series on a high note. The problem is that the Yankees are the best team in the MLB and look to overwhelm the A's from the first pitch. The New York Yankees continue to pile up the wins, while the A's find ways to lose more times than not. So the New York Yankees to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Oakland Athletics have struggled at the plate all season and the New York Yankees are allowing the second least amount of runs per game. The Yankees will also have Jordan Montgomery on the mound, as he has started this season 3-1 with a 2.97 ERA. He also has a 1.02 WHIP rating, as reaching base against him is extremely difficult. The A's are only scoring the 29th least amount of runs per game and have the lowest overall team batting average. They won't be able to score much against this Yankees defense. Paul Blackburn will also be on the mound for the Yankees, as he has looked solid this season. He was hit hard in his previous start, but he has looked great besides that. This will be a low-scoring game, as the Athletics won't be able to score much if any on the Yankees. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Toronto Blue Jays Boston will try to extend its seven-game winning streak when it travels to Toronto for a series opener on Monday night. The Red Sox swept Cleveland over the weekend, picking up an 8-3 win on Sunday. Toronto lost the final two games of its series in Milwaukee, including a 10-3 loss in the finale. Boston is 20-6 in their last 26 games overall and 16-5 in their last 21 series opening games, while the under is 3-0-1 in their last four Monday games. Toronto is 3-7 in their last 10 games overall and 2-5 in their last seven games against a team with a winning record, while the over is 4-0 in their last four games following a loss. The Red Sox bring a seven-game winning streak into this series and is the top offensive team in the majors. Boston might have a replacement starter on on the mound, but Seabold has been outstanding in Tripola so far this year. Gaussman has struggled to keep runners off the bases in recent weeks, so this is going to be a tough test for him. Through 73 games, Boston ranks 5th in OPS and 8th in runs scored. For the season, Toronto ranks 3rd in OPS and 10th in runs scored. I completely understand why the Blue Jays are favored to win this game, but this price is way too expensive against one of the hottest teams in baseball. You should also know that Toronto has no experience facing Seabold. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. Toronto has shot up to fourth place in team batting average, cashing the over in seven consecutive games. Boston is the top hitting team in baseball, so this is shaping up to be a highly entertaining series. Gelsman continues to allow bass runners at a high rate of late, which is not a trend that will be easy to halt against Boston's offense. Meanwhile, Toronto is facing a pitcher who has not started a game in the majors this year. Kevin Gaussman hasn't had a ton of luck so far this month and Boston's lineup is tearing the cover off of the ball over the last month plus. On the flip side, we can't forget about how truly talented this Blue Jays core is and I think this is one of those games that ends up in double digits when all is said and done. I have no interest in fading either one of these offenses on Monday night. This should be a barn burner. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.